Bye bye windshield. It's gonna go to the stratosphere. It's gonna go to near space. Hey again. Camera van build. Welcome back. Uh, I've been welding for like five days straight. I finished all the welding on this section. I finished all the welding on that section. You guys don't wanna watch that. I fixed some dents on the hood. Little things. So, uh, yeah. Not much happened in this episode that was YouTube worthy. But, stay till the end of this short YouTube and you might, might get an idea of where I'm going with this build because it's definitely not conventional. It's not gonna be like all the other panel bugs you've seen. It's gonna have my own little twist to it. It's not gonna have a genre or a year or something. It's gonna be all Jason. So stay tuned because you know, things are happening. They are. Oh, if this guy comes off, and this guy comes off, this is already <laughs> very crunchy. This isn't even it. The uh, rubber so solid. And it's coming out in crunchies. I mean, I could buy a new one of these. Or I could polish this one. Guess we'll just find out how good this one comes out. My biggest concern is rust holes. If I'm gonna start doing the rust repair eventually, I'm gonna to need to know what's up. Here's the trick. Even though I'm building this, once it gets once that back panel section gets done and I finish that floor in there, this becomes a panel bug restoration. Because this needs to be done, the fenders need to be finished repaired. Long story short, it's, I can only get so far before I have to consider this a restoration again. Hey, wow, look at that. that is that is used to be rubber I don't even think it's plastic now it's 
It's original too. Sadness. Super delaminated. Dings and nicks and cracks before I even touched it. And this big crack over here. I think I just got a sliver from it too, so yeah. Gotta stop doing that. Oh yeah, there's broken glass in here. Let's see how bad the corners are. Yep, we're doomed. Whole car's gonna have to be scrapped. This one's got two holes in it. How that fine. I did not make any of those, by the way. Okay. How bad this one is. Hey, I made that one. Yay. Missed. Never been good at sports ball. Yep. Pretty sure those are the two drain holes. They're identical over there. Are there supposed to be drain holes in the thing? Because they look factory. They're perfect circles. Let me know in the comments. Are there supposed to be drain holes on the corner? It's a 67. I didn't know that. I know the bus I took apart didn't have any drain holes unless they were really rotten out by that point. The rest of this looks great. Oh yeah. It's actually really good. These are perfect too. They've gotta be drain holes, right? They gotta be. How do I miss them when I'm that close? See? Right there. Matching set on the other side. Gotta be drain holes, right? I think I'm gonna need a new mirror. This poor guy's starting to de-chrome on me. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll try to save it. Probably have it re-chromed if I keep it at all. I gotta find some place the chromes play things. But yep, yeah, there we go. Bye bye, windshield. Here's something I wanted to show you guys. The hood ornament, VW logo, on this car is probably the original. I mean, why would it be? So, so I, Plan on using it when the car is done. I'm gonna have it polished back up and use it again. But here's the fun part. I don't just build cars. Uh, my day job has a lot of interesting uh, things. And one of the interesting things I'm gonna do soon, y'all know that uh, solar eclipse coming up on April 8th? Well, I'm gonna be at the totality outside of Little Rock, Arkansas and I'm going to be on top of a mountain and on top of this mountain I'm working with a couple of friends that launch balloons for the University of Arkansas and NASA and Montana and all sorts of other education places and I'm allowed to put something in the cargo it's going to go to the stratosphere it's going to go to near space I'm going to send this to the stratosphere near space. They'll float around for a few hours and then they're going to chase it down and we're going to get it back and we're going to put it right back on the car whenever the car is done. 
So I can say I had this go to space, and now it's on the car. Near space, anyway. So keep watching. Albert, I'm talking. You're ruining my sh So stay tuned for April 8th and mid-April for a bunch of updates because this guy is an astronaut. Crazy, huh? Of course, this car is going to have a ton of technology in it anyway, so this won't be the coolest thing on it, but it'll definitely be up there. <laughs> Sometimes my dad jokes are just that bad. Okay. Apparently my dog wants in, so... This is a spoiler. 3D printed and it fits. And yes, it's going on this panel bike. I had a vision of it and I'm like, this needs to happen. So the cool thing is this 3D printed piece can be covered in fiberglass and it'll work perfectly. Once the roof is done, before paint, I'll fiberglass this, make it all fit with special metal brackets, not just some painter's tape, and then it'll go in with paint with it. <laughs> That, plus this part of the vent's going a lot further forward from here. Maybe a little bit on the bottom. What do you think? Comment below. It's definitely not for the purest. But of course, what part of this bug is pure? I mean, not much left of that. I guess the hood? No, I'm probably going to do something with that too. And there it is. Tomorrow... If you're watching this on Friday, if not, Saturday, I'm going to go do something else that's VW related, and that video will be coming up. Uh, I'm going to do a little challenge for myself. This is still the main build, but I want to try something new, so there'll be something coming up this late spring, early summer that starts this Saturday, and... Uh, You'll, uh, you'll get to follow along. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.